Yo, what's going on my people today? We are looking at another creepy video for you guys today and you're probably wondering, yo, TGO man, I thought we were supposed to be having a subscriber horror movie night tonight. Guys, I've been kind of busy lately, so I got a very short reaction video for you guys today. It's not really that short, but it's, you know, it's a quality video. Hope you guys don't mind that, but besides that, hope you guys do hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, do greatly appreciate all the support guys with the constant horror videos. And I promise you, we will have subscriber horror movie night. I promise, just probably not today. I gotta squeeze out a little bit of content for you guys. The double upload grind is not stopping. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. Let's do it. All right, guys, this is from Urban Spook. Now this is Analog Horror Pigs. I'm gonna be real guys, this, I believe this is uh, age restricted, so I'm gonna do some heavy editing in this video, so if you wanna see the original, I will leave, leave a link in the description, but be mindful, this is age restricted, so well, on their channel it's age restricted, so I'm gonna do heavy editing for some graphic material. Alright, let's go. Former police officer Ian Ford and his wife recently reported missing. Okay. When police went to their farm to investigate, they found an awful stench coming from the barn. Oh no. I already know where this is heading. Inside, they found a brutalized corpse of May Ford. Oh god. Oh god. Yep, that's censored. Having the police inside the stalls, however, hands have been ripped right off. Oof. Even for a body had been badly mangled, tests showed that she died from internal bleeding. Oh lord! Dead horse been found within the same stall. His death was heart failure due to a syphilis. I don't know how to pronounce that. Inside the milk, the milk house police found a bloody mattress. This is like some horror movie type stuff. Scattered upon the mattress. Someone had been sleeping here for some time. They kept in the towards a granddaughter's farm. Oh god, wrapped in a blanket? Hello? Oh god! Hey yo! That's getting censored too. I see why this was age restricted. <laughs> Her spell came from within the second stall of the bar. This reminds me of like some puppet combo. The music is feeling like puppet combo too. Several faces were found nailed to the walls inside the stall. It's cutting people's faces off too. Some of them belong to previous victims now formed beyond recognition. Oh god. There are also several decapitated pigs in carcasses. What? In the middle of the stall, we have one of the large pigs and slice them and stitch together. Ian Ford? Oh, God! That's a big pig though, like, bro, what? Pig's eyes have been cut out of the place with the eyes of Fiona Ford. Inside the trap, the police found the rest of Fiona Ford and the rest of the pigs. Oh, here go with the paintings again. Oh, boy. These paintings of the pigs Fiona and Ian may along with the warming amount of other victims. These images may be very distressing. Be warned. Okay. Here are the paintings and their titles. Alright. Oh lord, that's creepy. Oh. Hello? Okay, that's just a name. Oh, that's creepy. Good lord. That is also creepy. Ooh, that. If you know who any of these people, please contact me. Yo, that's crazy. 
heavily damaged tank was found in the mud outside the barn. This gives me chills. Even though the tape is almost completely destroyed, at least we're able to recover some of the footage. This is what was on the tape. Dude, that's really freaking creepy. Okay, um, guys, that, I, I don't know what to say after seeing that. Holy God. But as you guys should understand, some of these parts definitely had to been censored out because, uh, you know, I don't want to get age restricted. And even if I do get age restricted, it is what it is. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Shout out to Urban Spook. If you want to check out the uncensored version, then go ahead and check that out. Um, their stuff is age restricted anyway. So if you're not old enough, you ain't going to watch it anyway. But regardless, this was freaking fire. Shout out to Urban Spook once again. It's been a while since I checked out any of their videos. But they keep on pushing out the crazy, creepy, disturbing content that, honestly, I'm probably not going to sleep tonight after watching this. But regardless, hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead, leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. Do greatly appreciate when I road to 30,000 subscribers. So please, if you haven't already, hit that sub button, please. Um, and welcome to the community. I do a whole lot of other content like this, along with horror gameplays as well. And sometimes we just stream and have fun and have a good time as a community. But regardless, hope to see you all in the next one. Peace.